We are here with The Sims 2 again tonight. We are playing the Monty family. This is Patrizio and his wife Isabella and their grandson Mercutio. Mercutio is the one that's going to be, um, he's going to be the one who is inheriting the home because he was the eldest out of them all. So yeah, so that's why he is still at home um, because He'll be inheriting, like I said. Looks like a couple of them are sick. Interesting. Oh, all of their heaters are on. That's what I'm hearing. I was like, what is that sound? But yeah, it's just their heaters. Okay, so it looks like Isabella and Patrizio are up. And their toilet is clogged. He wants to serve some food, so I think I might let him serve up some breakfast today. Um, so that will be pretty good, and then we can go from there. He also wants to talk about his hobby. He wants to get into the business career, which is not happening, and all of this other good stuff. So, she also wants to serve food? Oh, for goodness sake. All right, well, they both cannot cook breakfast today, so one of them will have to serve, like, lunch or something. Let's go ahead and let him serve up some sunny side up eggs. It's like one of my favorite things to cook in this game. I don't know why. Um, and then we have Mercutio. This used to be Romeo's room here. It's just got the bed in it now. Um, but yeah. So that is all good. What's the loan info? Why do we have a loan? Oh, we have like no money. Oh, no wonder why. I can hear Patrizio um, hacking up along. So let's have him serve some eggs. Hacking up along. And what is she doing? She wants to woohoo with three different sims, which I find to be ironic. She is 89 days old and he is 95. Okay, he's really up there in age. He is living for ages, literally. How is his schooling going? Okay, so he's going to pass this semester. He could use two creativity skills, but, <sighs> you know, good old times. He does want to join the Greek house, which isn't going to happen. He also wants to hustle pool and make a best friend forever. Um, he still has a really big crush on Miranda, so it's a possibility maybe, but I don't know. Oh, he just got a whole bunch of new stuff that he wants to do. Um. Oh, now he wants to be in the criminal career. This family. I don't really understand. <laughs> don't really understand at all. Alright, I'm going to have you grab a plate. And then I will let you go ahead and put away the leftovers. And he wants to actually eat the sunny side up eggs. So, good for him getting done what he wants to do. I kind of wonder who, who Marquitio is going to end up with. I mean, he does already have kiddos. Um, he has the triplets. He has Ryan and Quasimodo and what's the other kid's name? Can't even think of it. Ryan, Quasimodo. Oh, Ermi. That's it. Which we've played them here on stream. This would have been a great, great picture if the stinky plate wasn't here. <laughs> Still can't believe he's 95. Oh my god, I have a one. She didn't finish hers all the way, but it's okay. She wants to talk about her hobbies. So let's have her do that with her 
her guy. What else does she want to do with him? Oh, make out. And classic dance. And play with him. When are his classes? 6 p.m. And now she wants a boohoo. What are they doing? Oh, classic dancing. Let's get a little picture of them doing this. Oh, man. Well, I was going to get a picture. All right, let's have a woohoo. Um, where is he? Casual woohoo on the bed. Please go to your bed. Okay. I was going to say, don't go to the kids' beds. That's awful. Oh, can you actually play this now? Nice. It's been covered in snow, and I thought it said they couldn't play on it, but maybe it's thinned out? I don't know. It still looks like it's covered in snow to me. I don't know what's going on. But if he's going to willingly build his logic skill, I'm going to allow so. So. Oh my goodness, girl. We'll just give them some privacy. <laughs> Let's just go back over here. So I did leave this, like, um, center area, like, um, an outdoorsy section. I thought they could have, like, a little garden or something in here. There is the, um, the tombstones of, uh, Claudio and Olivia here as well. And then these are just some plants that I put out here to make it look a little bit better. I thought that maybe one person down the line might want to do something here, and now she wants to... Woohoo in the hot tub, and she wants to learn physiology. So we'll let her study that for a little while to get them away from the woohoos and um, into doing something else with their lives today. But they're very happy. He does want to obtain a pet as well. They don't have enough money right now to obtain a pet, so I can't have them do that. But hopefully soon they'll get some like pensions and stuff, and then they'll start um, being able to afford a pet. So I think it would be cute for them to have like a little cat or a dog. Um, yeah. And let's go ahead and have him use the potty too because he really does need to use, use that. And he doesn't want to really do anything else but talk to his wife. But his wife has now moved on to learning a new skill. So, yeah. Hopefully she enjoys. She's in the study, so she's going to learn some physiology. And then Mercutio is working on his logic skill out here, which is fantastic. So if he ever has to get another logic skill, at least he will have uh, completed that. And now I will let him stop because I feel like they'll do this all day long. Hi, Lucy. And um, this way he can go do something else. He does want to make a best friend forever. And I'm kind of thinking, like, who could we do that with, you know? Um... I'm trying to think of someone that could be, like, maybe his friend for the rest of his life kind of thing. Obviously his brother, of course. But, um, they're pretty, pretty good friends anyways. I really did think maybe Tasha Go or Alvin Fuda. <laughs> I'm just not sure. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly who I think would be a good friend for Mercutio, so I just kind of left it. 
Halcap, but they're opposite families again, so you're kind of like digging in the wrong, you know, side of the tree here. Um, what is he doing? Oh, he's gonna take a bath. Okay, good for you, my friend. Good for you. You do what you gotta do, but threes, though. You get yourself all cleaned up, dude. You've had a rough day, and the heat is literally on. It's right there. So he's probably really nice and toasty warm with the bath, and then the heat right there. He is probably loving it. Um, okay, so she's just studying. She's going to need to go potty soon. Everything is all clean. Fantastic. We barely had enough money to pay her. Holy smokes. I didn't even think about that. Um, and this guy, he's outside. Oh, look at the kitty. Who's that? Rose. Um, it'd be really cool to see them have a cat but like honestly Patrizo and Isabella they're not going to be around very much longer so oh, that's unfortunate I know it's going to be a rough day for Mercutio when they pass because I think he's very close with both I think he has a great relationship with both of them yes fantastic relationship with both of them so that's going to be a very rough day for him unfortunately um Hopefully he will have someone to kind of lean his head on their shoulder and, you know, take some, um, take some comfort from someone. But I can't promise that's going to happen. Hopefully it does. Oh, the snow just disappeared all of a sudden. Fantastic. He's like, I'm cold. Let me go inside. Oh, he's healthy again. Fantastic. That's what we like to hear. And they have a really nice car as well. And it does have the alarm in it. Fantastic. I think I'm going to have him pay these bills once he lays them down. Normally, I try to put a table close to the front of the house so they don't have to go in and out constantly. It's funny that they take their clothes off. <laughs> uh, that could get really annoying, huh? But we'll live with it for right now. If I don't like it, I'll change it. <laughs> but at the moment, it's okay. What's he doing? Oh, he's dancing. Okay. Dancing his little heart out at 95. They come all the way in here to put the bills down. That is, that's too far. Put the, go pay these. Oh, we don't have the money. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> so we've just got bills we can't afford to pay. Fantastic. That's just what I needed. He could use a nap for sure. And she's going to need the potty soon. So we'll just keep an eye on them. Oh, Mercutio just sent 600 simoleons to his kiddos. That's unfortunate. Okay, your carpool is here, my love. She got her pension check. And he received his pension check. And she's about to go to work as well. That means I can have Mercutio go ahead and pay the bills. We have enough to pay them now. Thank goodness. And she's off to work. She's just working in the um, slacker career. It's one of the things she really wanted to do as a golf caddy. I mean, to each their own, right? To each their own. She doesn't bring home much. She works for 20 simoleons an hour. I mean, honestly, nowadays, that's really good. So, he's just retired. Just living on that pension. Alright, dude. I think you might need a good nap. Why don't you go take a nap in your recliner in your living room? I need to still add more to this build as well. Because... They certainly could use some more furniture around, um, but with them being so low on money, I think what we have can work, and then we can build on more later. Um, I just want them to have like the necessities for sure. And eventually, I think Mercutio will get a job, just because eventually he will not be in uni. But <laughs> for right now, this is what he spends his time doing. This is, this is Mercutio in his finest. <laughs> He's like a, oh my goodness, I was about to take his photo. He's like a model citizen. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh my goodness, he's gonna go do booty called to Miranda. Okay. Well, ACR didn't wait long to um start putting their hand in here, did they? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh Miranda, please be busy. <laughs> Can they ever just deny them, or, or they always come over? <laughs> she really needs to be like, no thanks. <laughs> She's already raising his triplets. Oh, goodness. And I, the way I play, I have to make her selectable, so then she can get pregnant from this risky woohoo they're about to do. So, wish us luck that she doesn't uh, end up expecting, because that would be awful. They would be having at least baby number four if they, if they ended up conceiving. And that would be the scariest part. Okay, we're going to make her selectable in just a second. Okay, Miranda. Probably not what you should be spending your time doing, but who am I to tell you no, girl? Who am I? You do you. Are they serious? Okay. They're going to do it on that bench at the front of the house. Oh, for goodness sake. How's it going, Patrizo? How's your nap going? I love his, like, balding head. It's kind of cute. It's like an old man, you know. Obviously, you wouldn't have that on, like, your teenager, but. Mm. Okay. They're just woohooing, I think. Oh, they've fallen back in love. Or wait. Did she just get a crush on him? I don't know what happened. They're just woohooing, though. Still a risky woohoo, though. It could still happen. All right, go answer the phone. I really don't want her to be. No, Isabel's at work. I really don't want her to have any more kids right now. I really think it would be a bad idea. A really bad idea. Use this and take a bath. Oh no, take a shower. Oh my! <laughs> Let's have a moment of silence for Miranda because she is literally in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> okay, go, go, go to go to class. I forgot they were not dressed at the moment appropriately. Yes, go to class. Miranda, leave. For goodness sake. Please don't be here when he gets back. I really like her dress. I think it's really pretty. Is that is the Isabella coming home? She only earned 20 simoleons today. Oh, interesting. I thought that was per hour. Never mind. Jokes. Okay, she's using the potty, which is fine. Let's have you come use this and let's have you take a bubble bath. Because she is kind of tired, so. She could use a little bubble bath. Here, why don't you take a little nap? A little, a little cat nap. We all need a good cat nap every once in a while. I don't really like to nap, though. Um... I still can't believe Miranda just did that. Oh my goodness. I'm literally appalled. I'm not going to lie to you. I just, um, I don't know what to do. <sighs> Wait, I thought she was on birth control. I guess that didn't work. Faulty pills. He is literally 96 days old now. 
I think he's the oldest sim that I've had. Because they don't always live, like, to the end of the bar for me. I've had people die at 93 and 94 before, so... It's literally any time. Okay, is he home? Um, yes, he is. And he's right back at it. <laughs> Getting it. Ah. <laughs> They are a really sweet couple, yeah. Isabella, did you not take a bath like I told you to? I just kind of like to watch them a little bit more than control them, because like, I don't know. They just like always flirt with each other and stuff. I think it's sweet. Sometimes I intervene like this. <laughs> now he wants to hire a repairman. Can we even afford a repairman? Yeah, we can afford one. Okay, call for a service, my dude. He wants to get a job. Should I get him a part-time job? I mean, he's 96 days old. Oh, she likes fitness. Okay, man. And she's healthy again. What are you doing, my dude? Okay, yeah. He does want to go to class today, which is good. Um, you did miss something pretty big before you got here. Yeah, they're romantic all on their own. Sometimes I just sit back and let them kind of do their own thing because they really like to do that. He wants to counterfeit simoleons. Sometimes your sim is going to get caught on the wrong side of the law but in the meantime to keep filling your coffers with ill-gotten simoleons click on the counterfeiting machine and choose counterfeit simoleons can he even get that thingy because if he if he wants to do it i'll do it for him isn't it in here somewhere what's that under is that the criminal career isn't it this? No. Or is that under like the reward thingy? Is, this, is it not the careers? Is it under like the aspirational rewards? I mean, if he wants to counterfeit things, let him do it. You know? Oh, here it is. Here we go. Okay, if he wants to do this, I will let him do it because he is literally saying, hey, I want to do this. Um... We'll let him do it here. We'll put it right here in this hallway. So if he wants to do that, you go for it. Um, so ACR took over and Mercutio called over Miranda Cap with the triplets. Um, 
what are all their names? Quasimodo, Ryan, and Irvi. Um, and they woohooed, and it told us that she was now expecting. So that's the thing. Okay, so he is going to counterfeit some simoleons while she goes and takes a bubble bath. <laughs> Get a picture of him doing this. It'll be funny. Mm. Printed money. I'm loving it. <laughs> they don't. You're right. But she is expecting now. You can literally get the cash from this. How funny. Can he just do this forever? I know. Like, how long can a 96-year-old do this? I guess pretty long. Oh my god. It's on fire. Extinguish it. Stop freaking out. Extinguish. Oh no. Did we have stopped him? Oh no. Extinguish. Rikithio is going to have to be like, Grandpa, please, for the love of gosh, stop being naughty and printing money. It's going to get us our house burned down. Oh, for goodness sake. That is too funny. Can he still get the cash out of it? I want to see how much he made. It's like, how much did he honestly make? We're at 384. I mean, he didn't really make that much. <laughs> he didn't really make that much at all. Well, like 200 and something. It's funny though. Didn't she just take a bath? Um, why is she in the bath again? Oh, Maid's here. Maid's gonna see our count our mu counterfeiting money. Oh, do they get really stinky from the fire? Oh. Interesting stuff. Oh my goodness. The, um, the repair man just walked in on Patrizo. Look. Oh my goodness, lady. Ugh. I don't even know at this point what's going on. <laughs> all three of them are showering. Why is it so dark in here all of a sudden? Interesting. Who's getting down? Oh. Should have known. Should have known. She literally has the woo the wish to woo with three different sims. Maybe meet something new. She's a family sim. What's he doing? Okay, he's muscling too. I thought he was going to make some more. I love the butt shake. What is he doing? 
Telling him a dirty joke. Why are all of our toilets clogged? Okay, she really liked that dirty joke. Oh my goodness. Oh, dancing in the sink, yeah. Interesting stuff. He has got talent. Now she's telling her grandson a dirty joke. What is going on with this family? Alright, cool. Be congratulated. On what? Okay, get out. I'm going to have your grandmother take care of herself. Because her carpool is coming here soon. He's watching this, the movie Spooky Cat Lady. Oh, nice. Um, no, we don't... I don't want to change his aspiration. He got a C. He got 400 simoleons. The Registrar has automatically declared Mercutio's major to be philosophy because Mercutio must like to think about things long and hard. Okay. So he's going to get to put the 400 away. Um, what is his aspiration? Oh, he wants to have 30 successful parties. Of course he does. Anyways, let's go ahead and put the um, 400 towards his college tuition. So, pay back in hundreds, 400. And then he can also use and might as well take a bath because he can. And then I think we'll get him some exercise equipment today and have him start working out. Um, and then we can go from there. Patrizio's making breakfast. Oh, okay. Never mind. They have decided to dance. I thought I told them to make breakfast, but I think I was about to click what to make and then it, that pop-up came up, so I don't think I actually got to click it. But I'm just going to let them have their own romantic little moment here. She's at 91 days and he is at 97, going on 98 today. He is my oldest sim so far. Everybody else has pretty much died by um, 94, I believe. Yeah. So it's interesting to see that he's still around at almost 98. He'll be 98 today. He does not want to see the death of his wife, and she doesn't want to see the death of her husband, but you know what? I think one of them is going to have to realize a fear here soon. They're not going to be able to live forever. All right, let's go ahead and buy him a piece of equipment to work out with because he's been saying he wants to do so. Um... get him this and where can we put this 
We could put it in Romeo's old room, because Romeo's not here anymore. He doesn't live here anymore right now. Well, I don't know if he'll ever come back, but yeah. Let's have him work out for a little bit. When are his classes now? At 9 a.m. Okay. So he's only going to be able to do this until 8 and then he's got to go to class. Is he going to pass this semester? No, unless he gets a skill. He is not. Cool. He needs two logic and three creativity. One or the other. So good luck to him. All right, let's have him serve up breakfast. Um, let's just do some omelets. Um, casual woohoo in the hot tub. Oh, the phone's ringing. Maybe when Mercutio gets home, he can answer it. He's thinking about money. Look at him. <laughs> Too funny. So funny. Whoa. <laughs> He's like slid over. Oh, he met his professors today. Did he get fit? Nope, not yet. Here, come answer this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. You gotta get a cute last photo of them having a good time. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that was great that we saw them jump over the fence. <laughs> Loved it. Oh, everything's all clean. Fantastic. Oh, she has a day off today. Nice. Niceness. All right, I'm going to leave these two to it. Who is he talking to on the phone? Who was on it? Did we miss it? Like, who was it? I don't know if I know who it was. Here. Use this. Take a shower. And then let's get you some leftovers. And then we'll get you working out again. I hope nobody missed the jump over the, um, the wall with the woohoo in the hot tub because that was adorable. <laughs> Turn off. Why did that magazine just disappear? Did you see that? It's like right here. Why is this disappearing? Is this a magical thing? Oh no. It was funny. <laughs> It was just funny. These two are so cute. I absolutely adore these two. Oh my gosh, she just sent more money to those kids. Yeah, it'll be going to YouTube. 
eventually. <gasps> What's wrong with him? Oh, he's freezing to death. Okay, oh, oh gosh. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. <laughs> Come sit here. Why did he go? That's scary. He goes like gray. Ah, that looks awful. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I thought he died. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought he passed away because he went like gray. Oh man. Please. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Why does he look like that? He looks like death. Did he get heavy set again? I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're gonna have you work out again now, dude. Let's go ahead and do that. Why does he look grayed out? Is it because he's cold? What's wrong with him? Like she's just as cold as he is, but she don't look like that. Does he need a shower or something? Uh, that's what I thought. Is it because he has darker skin that his skin looks like that when he's blue? I'm really confused. Okay, well, she wants the woohoo in the bed, so let's let them woohoo in the bed and see if it makes a difference. Um, stand up. What? I don't understand what's going on with him. More casual woohoo in the bed. All right, well, they're going to woohoo in the bed. I don't know why his face looks like that. Um, we'll check him in a second. How's it going, dude? You're supposed to be getting fit. He does want to have a party. And for this thingy, he does need a party. Like, he needs to throw parties. He needs to throw 30 successful parties. If I had a second lock-in slot, that would be perfect. I would just lock that in for him, but I don't. He really needs two logic and three... Or two logic or three creativity as well. So, that's the thing. But he's officially a junior now, which is really cool. He literally looks dead in his portrait. I don't really understand. She now wants to classic dance with him and public woohoo. I'll try and have him take a shower and see if anything changes. Okay. Let's see if I have them both take care of their needs. Oh, he looks better now. I don't know what happened to him. He warmed up and he looks better. So, that's something. Stop sleeping. Too early to sleep. Too, too early. This bathtub is not getting fixed. We might have to have one of our people fix it. Does anyone have any handiness skill? Because that would be really helpful. Um, or mechanical, I guess. None. No, no one has any. He's about to be 98 days old. How insane. This man is living on the edge. Seriously. 
In three minutes, he's 98 days old. There we go. 98 days old. You've see it, seen it first here, folks. <laughs> She's just like, honey, let's play catch. Please. <laughs> She's tracking him down. Honey, please, play, play catch with me. While she struts it across the house. What is this? Oh, she wants him to catch her. Oh, never mind. Not play catch. Just catch her. <laughs> is she literally going to do it again? Oh, he wolf whistled at her. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Getting it. Yeah, dude. Here, go use this. And then... Why don't you take a bubble bath? Because it'll help with the soreness. I don't know if they get sore in this game, but they do in The Sims 3, so we'll just pretend. What are you doing, my dude? Okay, sure. Isabella. So it's a classic dance with him. Let's have you get some of this, too. Why don't you make some espresso? What? Did you just break the toilet, too, man? Holy moly. He still wants to get fit, but he's completely, like, down on his hygiene. So we're going to let him get a good bath in. These two are just... <laughs> they've been woohooing so much that they're tanking their energy constantly. <laughs> and so they have to keep drinking espresso to get through the rest of their day. It's too funny. When you literally just do activities that just tank your energy. <laughs> Here, buddy, why don't you eat some dinner? You're a little bit hungry. Just a little bit. So you could eat something. A little, a little something, something. I'm sure there's something good in there. Why is there a plate on my floor? Oh, there's like pie or something in there. Go ahead and eat that. Yeah. Aw, uh, what's that? That looks really good. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl. Looks like some kind of ice cream or something. What is that? Oh, boy. Here, you get some, too. Get some leftovers. That looks delish. He wants to have a party. I mean, I don't really know what I'm going to throw a party for at the moment. We could have one, but I don't know what I would throw it for. I guess we'd just be throwing a party to have a party. Ah, uh, yeah. What is this? Is this, like, cinnamon ice cream or something? Like three balls of ice cream with some whipped cream and cherry on top and some cinnamon sticks on the side. Chocolate cream? Oh, is that what that is? That sounds so good. Now he's cold again, dude. He literally had a little bit of a dessert before bed. She's like, listen here, darling, it's fine. A little brain freeze, never hurt anyone. <laughs> I think these two are about to head to bed. I'm going to let her do this one last thing. Classic dance. Okay. Let's do this. More dance classic. That way they get that done. Okay. He wants to talk to somebody. He's got his fun up now. Let's have him socialize with someone on the phone. Who could he call on the phone and talk? Um, Ariel Cap. She's the other side of the family line thing though. Like the... You know, like the rift between the two families, of course. Um, what about his brother, Romeo? Maybe we just call it Romeo and chat with him for a little while. Call Sim. It's only 9 o'clock. Look at little Ryan there. That's his son, Ryan, by the way. Little Ryan. That's the only one of the three kids that he knows. Insane. Um, Romeo will be a good one. Let's just talk to him. We're just going to get our social up a little bit. And we could really use him so social. So this will be nice. Rekindle his friendship with his brother. They're not the greatest of friends, but him and his grandparents are, like, great. Welcome to the stream, Turn Gamer. Um, we are all doing good. Yes, thank you for asking. Just having some fun with the Monty family. Um, 
pretty much on death watch for these two lovebirds. Uh, Patrizo is at 98 days and his wife Isabella is at 92 days old. So they are right on the edge of, um, you know, not being with us anymore. I'm about to send these two lovebirds to bed as well because they are very tired. They have definitely been woohooing quite a bit. So, unfortunately, we're on death watch for them. So, it'll be an interesting time for them right now. But then we have Mercutio, and he's talking to Romeo on the phone. Just chatting it up, getting his social up, catching up with his brother. Seeing how college is going. I feel like I'm always on death watch, honestly, for somebody. Okay, you guys can stop. It's getting late. It's 10.30 now. Um, there you go. Go ahead and go potty. Go to bed. He is attracted to Lisa Ramirez. How interesting. They're actually friends, which is sweet. And then obviously he's really good friends with Mercutio. He's not that great with Romeo because Romeo is the is the naughtier of the two. <laughs> he doesn't even know Romeo at all. Holy moly. Um, that's interesting because I thought they at least had like a relationship a little bit. But Grandma Isabella knows Romeo pretty well. She's she's pretty up on her times. How's Romeo doing? Doing good? He's like saying ew and then talking about sunflowers. I don't understand you. <laughs> yes. Listen here about the factories. We've got all the knowledge. Not. <laughs> we know nothing about what you're talking about. Okay, buddy. I think it's time to hit the stack. And get your little self laying on your back. Alright. Well, that was nice for them to catch up a little bit and rekindle that friendship. Um, why is our phone ringing? Hold on. Oh my goodness. Look how he put the phone. Did you see that? That was interesting. It was sticking straight out. I don't know what that was about. Who is this? No, she's sleeping. That is literally the waitress. Or like the... What's that guy that picks up the dishes at the restaurant's calls? Server? Is that what he is? A server? Bus boy. That's it. Um, that was literally him calling for Isabella. I don't know why he's calling for her. It's a classic. I think I have two more. Mm, we end on the 20, when it goes to 20th day. So this would be my last day, I think. This might be it. Wow, that went fast. She wants to play with Patrizo. Aw, oh, look at the sweet little sweetness. <laughs> I think these two are the sweetest little couple. Seriously. Who doesn't want to have love like this when they're old? Seriously. That is the truth. That is the truth. He's so happy in his life that he's lived to 98 days. Gonna And at 6 p.m. tonight, it'll be 99 days. Now you're going swimming in the winter, remind you. So that's something. And he has class. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. I really like them. I think they're cute. Herb and Coral, I just feel always feel so bad for Coral because she has got the poopy end of the stick because you know we all know herb is not faithful to her and you know whatever but this couple they're like couple goals yeah totally old in love living in a large architecturally confusing house it's not as bad now that i've renovated it it's better i do try to keep the um you know like kind of like the shape of the home 
But this house is is better. Is better. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's still it's still wonky, it's still wonky. But like I said, I try to keep the original like layout of the home and then just make it better. Cause they have like their own wing over here, you know. And then like the door at the end, and then they have their own, there's like a bathroom here off the hallway, and then they have their own like little garden area. We do need more furniture, of course, and then their living room is here, and the dining room and kitchen, and this is like the walkway going in, and the foyer. The hallway still is here that goes all the way around the middle part, which I thought could kind of be like a garden area, I guess. And then there's the office area here under the tree. And then this used to be Romeo's room, and this is Mercutio's room, and then they each have their own bath. And then that's like the back garden, so they have like the pool and the hot tub with the space for like... I was thinking for if they have kids later in life, like if the grandson, if Mercutio has a family, he could move them in and they could have like a little playground area or whatever they want back there. Um, but the way Mercutio is going, he's just going to have a thousand kids with uh, Miranda and she's just going to get stuck raising them in college. So it's going to be... It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting how that all works out in the end. She's a romance sim as well, so I don't think that he's ever going to get married to her. I think he's barking up the wrong tree. He should be choosing someone else at this point. Oh, Maid's here. She wants to play with him, so why don't they play... Tickle? Did he just admire her? Oh, he wants to classic dance. Oh. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to tickle you. Um, why don't you give him a back rub? Mm -hmm. And now she wants to tickle him. They're gossiping. Interesting. All right, cool. She is all about her husband today. I just don't like the open space in the original house. They constantly go through the space and are constantly changing into outerwear because of it in older, colder seasons. What do they do? Walk around their house with their coats under their arm the whole time? <laughs> Um, so I do it based off of oldest male sim inherits. Um, so like since Patrizo and Isabella don't, um, like if you look at their, their things, their daughter is the oldest. And since Antonio had already moved out, it would have, they would have eventually left the home to Claudio. Claudio passed away, so because Claudio passed away, um, it would go down to his son, so it would have been Mercutio that would have inherited, only because Antonio, I think, kind of, um, is one of those sims, in my opinion, that kind of, like, isn't, loving the whole cap versus Monty thing. I feel like he's befriended some of the caps, honestly. And so I think that he, that's why he didn't want to inherit the home originally. Um, and obviously he's got some stuff going on with him, his wife having passed away and such. So I think that Patrizo and Isabella would have talked about giving it to Claudio, but Claudio passed away. So then it went to Claudio's son. 
who none other was Mercutio. And in my homes, I do allow, I, I have that the eldest boy is the one that inherits, just so I can keep it within the name. Because I like to pass down the homes to like the same names, so I can keep it in the name. I just think that's the best, in my opinion. You're just going to pull weeds in the middle of winter, dude. Mercutio, could you please... She's thinking about babies. Could you please go um, play some chess? Please. I might end up having to move Miranda Cap in. Because <laughs> Mercutio is, has had three... Or had triplets with her. And now she just ended up getting pregnant from another woohoo that they had. So I might end up having to move her and the kiddos in so that they can all have a better place to live. Because right now they're living in those dingy Veronaville dorms. And that's just like really no place for a child. Seriously. No place for a child. He's going to go build a snowman. I mean, Mercutio, please, for the love of goodness. All right, Isabella. Let's get you something to eat before you go, love. Come on. You're going to be so hungry at work if you don't get some food in your belly first. Let's go. I know you're getting, you know, she's already getting tired, but let's at least get you something to eat first. I need to put the fridge and stuff in here. It's supposed to have, like, a kitchen over there. I just haven't had the money for them to be able to do it at the moment. And with them about to pass... That's probably going to be where Mercutio ends up residing, is on that side. And then the other two bedrooms will be for kids. And we might even turn it into, like, four bedrooms eventually. Who knows? Like, almost, like, split them or something. What is this? Oh, that looks so good. Oh, goodness. I really want him to do something else. Um... I'm going to have him try and work out again and see if it'll force him to want to do something else. Because these wishes stink and he's going to go on academic probation if he doesn't hurry up. So, that's unfortunate. So, come on, Marquitio. We're all, we're all pulling for you, dude. I still can't believe that tomorrow Patrizo is going to be a hundred days old. That is insane to me. Insane in the membrane. Oh, well, you know what? I actually think I started a little bit before t uh, nine today anyways. So it'll be pretty much right on time because this is I've been going for an hour and 51 minutes. The man's trying to make a record. He is my record so far. Yeah, he is. Um, my oldest that I've had so far that wasn't him that has passed away was um, the goth. The goth. And he was 95 when he passed. Yep, 95. Yeah, Mortimer, yeah. He was 95 when he passed. So, um, yeah, Patrizo is my oldest so far. I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. Most of mine have died around 94 or 92. Um, so she's even surpassed some of them because she's at 93. I'm scared because he's living so long that when he passes, so Isabe uh, Isabella is going to pass at the same night. And then it's going to leave Mercutio with no one just like in one day. And I think that would break his little heart. So. How are we doing on the fitness? He should bump up here in just a second. Well, actually, I think it has to go all the way to the top. I always think that the lines mean it has to surpass that. But I think it has to go up to the top, doesn't it? And then it becomes fit.
Yeah, that's why I said he might have to, he might, I just might move her in with him just to give some other people, because there's a lot of kids in that dorm right now. So if I, since she's expecting, it would be really nice to have like a second set of hands to help out a little bit with the kiddos. Um, I think the triplets are aging up in a few days, so they're not going to be as hard, but then she is expecting again, so she would be very, she would be very busy if she was trying to do it all on her own. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of moving her in with Mercutio. Since they continue to have kids together, and then if she ends up wanting to get, like, move out, then so be it, you know? Or I might send him the babies and let her keep the triplets and then send him whatever kids she has. She's a romance sim, so I might roll and see if she wants to keep them. And since he's a popularity sim, I mean, it could go either way. Uh, but he did woohoo with her, so. Or maybe she'll just put him up for adoption. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen with that family? I was thinking he was going to stop doing this on his own, but does he not? I kind of want him to get fit. <laughs> like a lie. He doesn't have class until 9 in the morning, so he's got time. <laughs> not really, but he can. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of that going around. A lot of people are having kids with people. And, like, I, I get onto the family and I'm just like, oh my gosh, not again. <laughs> uh. It's interesting to see who see who gets with who. And now that these all of these sims that were, like, teenagers are about to become of age to, like, start getting married and stuff, we'll start to see more relationships kind of popping up. Because they're getting closer to the end of their college years now, which is kind of nice. So I kind of like that. I love how his arms shake so much, but he's literally been working out for what, like six hours now? Okay, are you fit? Is that it? There we go. He got it. He's like, oh yeah. Oh, now he wants to get his body skill to level four. Well, that's not what I wanted. I really wanted it to be logic. All right, well, he's going to jump into the bath. He only has 27 hours before his exams, and this is what it looks like. He needs either three creativity or two logic still. You're always excited for the third generation, the newly made babies that aren't written into the stories because they're all wild cards. Yeah. Especially in a mega hood. Because you never know who's going to get with who and have babies with who. Like Jane Stacks and John Mole getting together and having kid, kids together. That was unexpected. But they're like married now, aren't they? Like ha happily married. Or the fiasco with the um, Pleasance. Ugh, poor Mary Sue. Oh no, we have cockroaches. Cause someone knocked over a trash can. He's a junior. Philosophy major. I don't think... I feel like philosophy is killing him. That I think that's what the school chose for him. Because he didn't choose on his own. Um, and creativity and logic are just not things that he's interested in, it seems. Alright, go to bed, my friend. Go to bed. The fact that he pays 600 a day also in child support is unreal. He pays 200 per and he has three kiddos of Miranda. So it's pretty intense. Okay. Well, Patrizo made it through. I mean, I'm honestly shocked. I'm just going to set them to up to do what they got to do when they get up. But yeah, this round is done. And not too much exciting happened. 
But it's exciting that Patrizo made it through another round. And it's also exciting that I, in a sense, that Merkithio is having more kiddos. And he's also about to go on academic probation. I don't know if that's exciting, but that's a fact. But yeah, it's 10.52, but I've actually been going for pretty much just about two hours. So since I did finish this round with them, I think I'll go ahead and leave it here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This I'll give you guys a look at the outside of this house as well, um, just because I can. And because I really like the house. I like what I did with it. I think it looks really nice. Uh, let me turn the lights on, actually. Hold on. This is what it looks like now. But yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this, it will be, or if you missed any of it, it will be up on my YouTube channel for you guys to check out in the future. Um, it won't be going up like right away. It'll be going up soon. I have some other videos that I need to post first. So yeah, lots more drama to unfold in this rotation since we are on rotation five you know, the lots more is coming. We still have a lot of the worlds to get through. I don't think, I think we've only done most of Pleasant View and then we've pretty much gotten through about half of Veronaville. So we have a lot more to do. On Friday though, I'm going to be streaming my Medieval Empires Challenge. If you saw the video today that went up on YouTube, you'd know that. But yes, we're going to be doing my Medieval Empires um save file so that's gonna be really exciting i'm really excited to get back into that and see some more of that i think the last time we had an issue and it like crashed or something anyways it should be fixed now i have updated all of my mods and went through and triple and quadruple checked everything so everything should be ready to go so we won't be playing any more sims 2 but i will be posting all of the sims 2 streams that we've been doing i'll be breaking them up and putting them up on youtube for you guys so definitely check that out um, thank you to everyone who joined in tonight. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for sticking it out with me and keeping me company while I'm playing through this crazy rotation. It's been a crazy one for sure. Um, it's going to continue on. Hopefully next week we'll continue playing some more Sims 2. I've been really enjoying it again. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great Thursday and a beginning of your Friday. And I will see you guys Friday night for my next stream. Have a great night. Thanks, guys. Thank you.